this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit to help you on your journey to unconditional love as well. And it is the eve of the new moon, the new super moon. And I just wanted to share some things that may help you. So basically the messages that everyone's getting are incredibly intense at the moment. So I have been getting messages from people in America and Australia sending me things like they're seeing foxes, they are seeing um, uh, cats, they're seeing all of the things that I've been putting out in messages, everyone's seeing the same things, getting the same messages. Um, I just want to say again, our higher selves are working all together. Um, I've mentioned before that I have personal readings from a lady called Star Soul Tarot, Hazel. She is amazing. So if you want to have a personal reading about your energies within your relationship, then I would highly recommend Hazel from Star Cell Tarot. Um, what I've been seeing recently in healings that I'm doing for people, because I do divine love healing, is that now I see that we're, we're changing into birds quite a lot, um, which is a theme that's been coming through around the wings of love. Hazel today sent... I was in a deer park, right? A deer, wild deer, she sent me a note that she put out on her Facebook um, on the 1111 gateway. She sent me this and I'm going to read it out to you. Um, and I was in a deer park when she sent this to me um, and I had put a video up earlier in the day about that deer park when I was there. The card that the, the reading on her Facebook, if you go to Star Soul Tarot and sign up to her Facebook account. Okay, I'm just going to read this. Remember the deer in the deer. Now I'm seeing deers everywhere. I was stopped on a road the two nights ago to see a deer. I've now been to a deer park today. Um, the deer is this, in shamanic healing is a symbol of gentleness and unconditional love. And this is the reading. Um, when she sent me this, by the way, I was doing that video what, looking at the deer. Um, on my phone, I had 22% of battery left, okay? So, the lion and the deer, number 22, 11, 11. This card tells a story of ancient divine soulmates taking on lessons in love together, lifetime after lifetime, willing to become crazy for love to follow their hearts and to break society's rules to achieve true love. In doing this, they have to first unearth their own truth so they may bring balance and unity to their union. When you enter the garden of the heart, you become fragrant like the rose. When you fly towards heaven, you become graceful like the angel. If you become burnt like oil, you become brilliant. When you become thin like hair and yearning, your joy leads the way. You'll be the kingdom and the king. You'll be paradise and the guardian angel. You'll be infidelity and you'll be faith. You'll be the lion and you'll be the deer. <laughs> I mean, and uh, Hazel sent that to me as I was in a deer park, right? So spirit are really, really being incredibly powerful, working through other people, our higher selves. Matt, who's the Divine Masculine on this channel, said that he watched a program yesterday about cats who were um, uh, in a Surrey village who had CCTV cameras fitted to them to see where they went. Now, when he said that, I could not believe it because when me and my twin were to actually together, that was a big joke of ours about that program. That's one of the big things. When he said that, I, I was honestly so, I mean, all of these messages have blown me away, but that really did because that is such a, you know, that's something that we've laughed about so much and we both have cats. And so when Matt said that, I just was like, that is such a clear sign that my twin, I mean, I knew it anyway, but for me, that was just like, I could not believe that he was, he was watching that program because it's years old. It's right from when we and my twin were together. So that's what I mean. 
Um, and I have to say, you know, in the 3D, in the reality, you know, I've cut off from my twin totally, I've had to. So that's why if you're in the same position as me, or if you're not in contact with your twin, or energetically you've had to remove yourself from that situation, then the reason why all these signs are getting so intense is because they don't want us to step off the path, right? Whatever we're having to do, we're being guided. So you must stay in the heart space, follow your guidance, follow your intuition, um, and just stick with it. You know, the new moon is here tonight. It's a massive super moon. So set your intention. Set your intention to come into reunion with your twin. Set your, your intention to step into your full God, goddess power on the wings of love, right? On the wings of love, you will fly high. You will fly high and be together on the wings of love. So just remember that this is the journey. The journey is to rise higher and higher and higher into the love vibration. Once you do that and you step forward into the high love vibration, then magic will happen in your life everywhere. And love and light, you know, this is the male and female energies. There is, there is no way that you won't be together at some point because that is your mission. That's what we were here to do, create love and light on this planet. So have faith, have trust, don't get disheartened, stay in your heart space and just know that you know the dia is unconditional love it's a sign of unconditional love there's been such a common theme about king about the lion um and now over the last few days i've seen more deer than i have in my entire life <laughs> and just the fact that hazel sent me this particular Rumi card which is you know you will be the lion and you will be the deer okay so we're marrying both the love and the light energies within us. Once the love and light energies are married together within us, then we are ready energetically for our reunion. Okay? So, just ask for help with that on this new moon. You know, put it out there. Say, ask for the, union to guide, for the universe to guide you and show you the way. Okay, and if you would like healing from me, I see everything very, very visually like a film. And, um, oops. <laughs> and I can, there you go, I was going to say, oh, my light's gone out. Um, but yes, I'd be very happy to help you. <laughs> okay, take care, bye.